Tēnā nā kōtou. Ko pūtaua ki te maunga, ko rangi tai ki te awa ko ngā atsewa tewi, i te taho tōku pāpā. I te taho tōku māma, ko pūtaua ki te maunga, ko tarawera te awa. Ko ngā atsi tūwhare toa tewi, o tira mā tātua waka, mā tātua tangata. I am a 38-year-old tāne Māori. I have seven children to two separate relationships and I have only just, dare I say, but only just come out, so to speak. So yes, I, um, the oldest of my children is 18 and he has a child, so that makes me a koro, a very nice young koro, I might add, and my youngest child would be 18 months. Gender identity. Well, first off, I don't like labels, so to speak. I think of myself as a very humble and very proud Māori man. Yes, I am takatāpui, but first and foremost, I'm a Māori. When I came out, um, I expected to come across a bit of negativity. I mean, I was prepared to pounce on that, um, just to dispel a lot of the, the myths um, involved around uh, takatāpui or LGBTI um, labels. And... Fortunately, that did not happen. Everything was absolutely positive from family, friends, everybody. So it was really, really amazing. So in general terms, my takatāpui journey has pretty much only just begun. My earliest memories of takatāpui would have been seeing some of my uncles. Some of my uncles... Uh, parading around, all merry, all happy, and showing a feminine side that you wouldn't expect from your older uncles and things like that. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful because it was just them being natural. It was just them being themselves. And, I mean, they didn't have wives or, or, or partners that I knew of at that time, but those were my earliest memories of... Um, takatāpui in, in my younger days um, but I could relate very well to, to how they were and how they were showing themselves I could relate really really well um, because yes of course I used to parade around in my nanny's um, with her lipstick and you know um, shoes and, and, and frocks that she used to wear of course she never knew about that because I you know I just did it behind closed doors um, pantyhose if you like you know it was really well to me it was fun I thought it was fun. With regards to the health services currently available to Rangatahi and the Mātātua region, in all honesty, any support would be great because at this stage there is no support. Mm. So any support um, through whatever methods, however, it would be greatly, it's greatly needed. There's a need out there for it and that is voiced through the Rangatahi that I talk to. So... Any support would be absolutely brilliant. So from my experiences and going to the GP services, um, my doctors, of course, I haven't been asked what my sexuality is. Now, if a doctor was to ask me what my sexuality is, then based on that, they would be able to offer wraparound support for myself as well as other Takatāpui, because if they don't know, how are they going to help? So by asking me my sexuality, then they will know, okay, this is the support that we could give to this person. Now, I attended the Hui Takatāpui in Hastings. It was my very first one in Hastings in November last year. And this old Māori boy, this old Ngāti Awa Māori boy, thought three days prior, right, we are going to try and lay a tono down to be able to host the next Hui Takatāpui 2020 in Whakatāne, under the mantle of the Mātātua Waka. So, anyway, this Māori boy stands up on the final day and lays down the tono, which was accepted. We also got support from Hemana Eruera, who is the chairman for 
Te Pahi Poto Marae Committee, and he's also the son of our last Paramount Chief, Edwira Manwira. So we, we had a lot of support behind us to be able to host the Hui Takatāpui and Whakatāni 2020, which we are more than excited about. So watch this space, follow our Facebook page, Hui Takatāpui Ki Whakatāni 2020. Thank you.